Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Atworth Plus, where runs have been weird, but we've been winning them. That's all we can really ask for. An Eve run, uh, here's so long that it looked like Weave, then she cut it all off, now she looked like Eve. She got a lot of something you wouldn't believe? I can't remember. K7BT, K6BJ, what a strange seed that flies in the face of pattern recognition. So we are just on a vanilla Eve run right here. We don't have Eden's Blessing. I don't know why. I, I'm always surprised every single time we start with Red Tears as Eve. I'm like, well, this must be some kind of recent patch to the game. Let's change time to make like a 15 minute video analyzing the patch notes here and see what the heck we got going on. Eve's Tears are now red. What does this mean for the future of the Binding of Isaac? I do not know. Uh, they've probably been red forever is what I'm trying to say here. So what's the secret is Eve? Well, I mean Eve is probably the character with whom I've grown the most When it comes to Isaac previously least favorite character in the game Then not least fav favorite character in the game by virtue of the fact that they added worse characters And then someone was like hey, whoa Sagittarius is really good Someone was like hey, you know if you use the razor blade and by someone I mean like 10,000 people um, you, that's what it takes sometimes. We're like, hey, you know, if you use the razor blade, it doesn't take away your spirit heart. It just takes away the nearest red heart to your spirit heart. And I said, holy fuck, she's actually a goddess. And that's pretty much where we're at right now. Assuming you can, uh, keep yourself, excuse me, relatively stacked up here, uh, on, on spirit hearts in particular, it's, I wouldn't say tough to lose as Eve, but you have a nice built-in advantage relative to, some other characters, you know, I still, I, I generally prefer Isaac, Eden, Samson, in terms of winning, Azazel, maybe Kane, but she's up there, like, certainly, if you're asking me, like, you want to be Lilith, or do you want to be Eve, ten times out of ten, I want to be Eve, there's no question, HP please, HP please, yeah, that's actually, like, extremely perfect, so now we're in the Whore of Babylon state, and we have Spirit Hearts to back ourselves up in that Whore of Babylon state. Literally, if they had just not dropped Spirit Hearts on that room, I would be in a much worse... It's not an XL floor, it's just a big floor. It's weird. Um, I would be in a much, much worse situation. However, because of the Spirit Hearts, really, I got rewarded essentially for taking damage, which I would feel bad about if we hadn't had so many weird runs lately that have been a little bit more cumbersome. Like the D1 run, for example, not that I'm pointing fingers or anything like that. Anyway, there's our secret room. Uh, the last D1 run, by the way, not the one before that, which was actually great. So we got pheromones as our pill. Hierophant is lovely. And the steam sail with another spirit heart and another key. I don't really want to go to this shop because I want an arcade chance to exist, but I think it's probably still worth it. So let's give it a shot. We got... Items that I would consider not very good. At least not very good right now. Sharp plug, maybe you buy it so that in the future you can get something, uh, some value out of that. Might as well pop the hero font. And let's go fight Dingle here. Uh, this is an extremely great start. Steam sale, piercing shots with a speed upgrade, uh, and then a, enough spirit arts to keep us, you know, alive for probably like the next three or four floors at the very least, assuming we get no other HP. Uh, it, it's extremely great. Pretty much the exact start you want on uh, an Eve run, although we did take it a little slow here to begin with, but that's okay. Steam sale in particular is something I like getting this early just to give us like the best possible chance to buy as many items as possible from the shop. So we're gonna just use Razor Blade immediately. We could have gotten the value, like how much, we lose 1.28 damage for not doing it immediately, or for not doing it on this room. Ah, uh, I'd rather just get it handled. Even this room is like very kind, you know? Don't have to use bombs to open any of this. And we even got bombs out of it, which is fairly decent. Now there's where we should have used the Razor Blade, I suppose, but one Spirit Heart down to finish the job here doesn't seem too bad. Teleported to the deal with the devil. Ah, this is a tough one now. So Demon Baby is worth taking. I don't think we take Book of Sin. 
And it was actually close, because, like, if you think about it, what are the benefits of Book of Sin? Well, we can't lose our Whore of Babylon state if we have Book of Sin. But we also can't permanently lose our Whore of Babylon state if we have um, the Razor Blade. So that's what I figured was, was most sensible there. And then the other thing is that Book of Sin would give us one step closer to Bookworm, but I don't think that's actually very relevant at all. So I think we navigated that correctly, made the right decisions, and... Uh, I mean, getting fate from this golden chest is extremely good. This is really just a ridiculous bounty of good stuff early on on this run, and uh, I don't know what we've done to deserve it. Maybe the answer is live through the last run, which was a little bit on the annoying side, but, you know, shit happens. I like those runs that are a little bit of a challenge, but I also don't mind... Okay, sure, we'll do it. I also don't mind these runs that are... Uh, a little bit more ridiculous right off the bat. So we have uh, spectral tears. Oh, magic mush! Come on, you know it's that kind of run. Nah, sadly not. Um, it's uh, I didn't realize the whiz also gives you spectral tears because fate doesn't give you spectral tears. So where do those spectral tears come from? Why take the whiz? By the way, honestly, I wanted to give back. I wanted to give back to society. I think I will take a three cent key. Um, we have benefited from so much good stuff over the course of this run that I want to throw in a little extra absurdity because if I don't, well, I would just feel guilty, right? It's like Kevin Spacey says in the ad for the acting masterclass that occasionally pops up on Facebook because it has no idea what my interests are. When the elevator goes up... Wait, let me... It's something different. It's like... When you take the elevator up, and you find success, you've got a responsibility to send it back down. And apparently, for Kevin Spacey, that responsibility is selling an acting course. So, his generosity and philanthropy is, is well noted. I'm not insulting Kevin Spacey, I had nothing against him, I just like, you know... To describe selling a product as charity starts us on kind of a, a dangerous road of discourse, I think, but... That's all right, that's all right, that's all right. Haunt is dead. Slightly slower than I'd like to be. Placenta is fine because we have Razor Blade. Now, because we have so much HP, I actually think we, we're totally okay with that. We basically traded a Red Heart for a Spirit Heart and a little extra Bookworm potential. So, we got lucky with the Spirit Heart, but I'm, I'm content with this either way. So, we walk into the room. And honestly, we just want to use this once here. Because then... Check this shit out. By the way, with the Wiz, what am I looking for? Like, Tractor Beam would be exquisite. Hagalaz. I think we just keep the Fool card, honestly, because uh, the, uh, the Fool card could be our boss rush enabler. Because we can hold two cards, we can kind of keep a shitty one around in case uh, that seems prudent. I would like to start speeding up a little bit here. Just because, you know, boss rush is fun, basically. This is, like, exactly the ideal shop for us. Um, there's so much good stuff here. Two lucky pennies, of course, is the big one. But then also a... Well, actually, seven cent humbling bundle is the big one. Two keys when we only paid one to get in here. And a donation machine we'll probably continue to ignore for the time being, but two more bombs as well. Um... Take that, luck upgrade. Take this Joker card, I'm just gonna use it. The faster we can get good, the better. And uh, Little Brim is something that shoots straight, so it seems to me like it's a good choice right now. Then, uh, I guess we'll just go for now. We could buy the two cent tarot card. It's probably worth taking a look at it, actually, because it could be uh, the Hierophant. And now we really want to not get the deal with the devil, which I don't think we can create that that sort of condition for ourselves but all right we have a, a little bit of a an incentive now to use little brim instead of oh i just walked right into that guy instead of our own tears i don't know if that's actually a smart idea the other thing that would make uh that would make the whiz a little bit better well this is good enemies with big hitboxes are uh are nice as well, apparently, but... The other thing that would be really good for us is if we could get... 
maybe either homing shots or like some kind of splintering shots like a little cricket's body or you know the parasite or something along those lines rubber cement maybe just something to give us a better chance uh, at actually landing shots okay so hp is fine i don't mind it the more hp we have the more we have to work with when it comes to deals with the devil in the future, of which we'd expect to have a pretty good chance to get one on the next floor. Um, we still need an item room on this floor though, so this is weird. I, I feel like we're in the, the, the hubris gulch right now, which is an expression that I've just made up, but is evocative of, of what I think I'm looking for. Like for example, um, I think that we have had a strong run, but our HP, is a little dicey just a not much but just a little dicey and that could lead to this dangerous confluence you know a warm low pressure for high pressure front from the east meets a cool low pressure front from the west and all of a sudden you know bob's your uncle i'm telling a joke about carlos santana and and then we die you know it it, it it's happened before so don't let yourself fall into that hubris gulch at least not right now if it would serve the purpose of entertainment later, perhaps. So, I am gonna be unkind to our donation machine, because I really would like you to pay out with mapping. Wait, they don't glove you like I glove you. See, that's a callback to like a joke from two years ago where I said, I wanna own a glove store, and then you could just replace all the words of love in love songs with glove you know in the name of glove half price in the name of glove that was a the most botched note in human history it was intentional it was like a lo-fi thing okay it's all right but i don't know i feel weird but i'm like can i have like some more damage well you, your damage is fine actually honey the problem is you took whiz because you thought you're some kind of like zany superhero and instead now you're finding that it's not actually working out that well for you and you want to go back well you know can't really deny that hagalaz is i mean the whole reason for using it here was like maybe magic mush but it's all right got a good bead on deal with the devil chances here there was a reddit thread uh today on the isaac subreddit and it was like what are some items of the game that you feel are underrated and why and there was a lot of like i know some of you watching were probably in that thread giving your answer so i'm not trying to insult you but there is a lot of what i would consider like dick measuring like well i think this item that's really bad is good because if you're good it's not bad. And they're like, ah, I don't necessarily agree with you on that one. Um, like, people were like, Cursed Eye is amazing if you're good at dodging. I don't know if that's actually... Look, I've been beating that Cursed Eye drum for a long time. If it's good for you nine times and bad for you once, I don't think that makes it good. I think that makes it bad. Because when the Cursed Eye goes wrong, it's not like, I wish I didn't have this. It's like, this item's actually killing me. But there was there was some comment there that was relatively high rated that was like, I think the Wiz is pretty good. Um, I very much disagree with you. The idea that it doubles your rate of fire is, is incorrect. <laughs> It doesn't, I mean, it does double your rate of fire. That's like saying, you know, hey, uh, you know, you did a great job on your performance review this year. We're going to double your salary, uh, but we're going to be the custodians at the company of half of that salary. And at the end of each working day, we're just going to dump it into the paper shredder and then, you know, shred it. And that's that. You're like, whoa, ta on paper, I'm making twice as much money. Sure. Uh... I mean, I guess it's a victimless crime, except it's literally like a federal crime to destroy currency, I suppose, but... It's one of those federal crimes that's like, it's not that bad. Probably. Compared to like, you know, grand larceny or something like that, or even worse. Okay, okay, okay. 
I can get down with this. But as long as they're not using it as a justification to get rid of, like, your medical plan or something like that, I guess you can accept it. But, you know, I don't really care about having this double damage when it's not actually accomplishing anything for us. And it's my own fault for taking it. It's not like I don't know what the item does. Also, I have to admit, when they called the item the Wiz, I was like, what the fuck is the Wiz? Have I been playing a different game? It's called the Dunce Cap. It's not called the Dunce Cap, but I call it the Dunce Cap. So, Boss Rush seems unlikely right now, but, you know, we did make that sacrifice for a worthy cause. We got a much better chance of becoming Guppy now, and... By the way, there are synergies in which the Wiz can be great. Of course, Tractor Beam is the big one, but... Um, and I'll, I'll admit that I keep a light on for some items that are not really good. Soy Milk is probably the biggest example. That item is not good. Once... I mean, I weigh the risk of it being not good against the elation that I get that, you know, 10% of the time that it is good. But I would never go into a thread like that and be like, Soy Milk is underrated. I think Soy Milk is mostly appropriately rated. There are probably some items I think are underrated, though. I'm just trying to think of what... There, there would be, like, more boring stuff, you know? Be like, I think, you know, the pajamas are underrated. The spirit hearts are really useful as fuel throughout the game. People would be like, yeah, but we'd, we wanted... Blood! We want- you go, go into that thread, we want to disagree with you. So I guess maybe the, it was working as intended. Um, Alright, so, luck is nice, but- And I mean, the bombs are nice, but we're about a minute and a half, closing in on two minutes behind schedule. Ooh, but Emperor cards change the game for us here. So, take- it doesn't matter if you take the world or the sun. Um, we do want to take the fool card with us still. We actually just kill his tier? Please. Please. I'm begging you, dude. We've done it. Thank you, dead bird. Oh, we've done it. Okay, guppy chances, not Krampus. Not Krampus. Okay, we'll take Gimpy and then leave. Um, so what's, what's the play here? Well, you take the fool card with you, again. And then you take the sun or the world. And I am gonna try to make boss rush happen. I need items. As long as we're not skipping item rooms or shops to make it happen, we're gonna do it. And this is actually a decent floor, like, the, uh, the boss room is on the same kind of avenue as the item room and shop. We could probably leave this floor being, like, only a little bit behind schedule. And then we can get value out of our, our fool card. Please, just, like, champion belt. Chaos. I don't know, dude. Sure, we're gonna buy a lot here. Hive Mind is good. Spider Mod is fine. More options is good. Buy the Spirit Heart before it rerolls. Okay, there's options is good. Buy the Spirit Heart before it rerolls. I actually want to take Blue Candle over the Razor Blade. I don't think Dull Razor does anything as Eve, but I could be exactly wrong there. We'll pay seven cents for Trinket Smelter. To let us hold Swallowed Penny. And we'll take a half price PhD for certain. Which gives us the Emperor card. And the dream is real. So that was actually the greatest shop in human history. We should use Blue Candle whenever it's available. And that's not an exaggeration. Whenever it's available. Whenever, wherever, we're meant to be together. I'll be there and you'll be here, and that's the deal, my dear. Shakira. Shakira, Shakira, of course I mean to say. Midas Touch plus Permanent Polaroid Invincibility is a classic combination. These enemies are weak enough that we should really just accept Little Brim as our Lord and Savior here. I'll tell you one thing, this run's making me... It's making a pretty strong case, I should say. For never taking Wiz again. 
but it's still got time to pop. It's still got time to pop. By the way, thank you Demon Baby for actually ensuring that our bomb got in there. That was very good. There's like some fucking Morpheus shit that we can do here. Like, as Little Brim is shooting, then we move into position to actually hit with our Wiz Tears. I don't know if I have that kind of, you know, Kung Fury, but we'll see. Easy fight-ish. Uh, definitely growth hormones for a damage upgrade, even though I'm not using my own tears to do anything. Uh, and then, I, I still think it's worth skipping for now, because we do have the ability... Oh, that's perfect. I forgot about that. We do have the ability to um, teleport out of here after we get to boss rush. So, you know, snag this, hopefully deal with the devil. Snag this, hopefully, uh, good boss rush item. Yeah, this is actually great. Very surprised the speed and pace of which we've managed to make this work. So we're taking the Polaroid. Grabbing this, grabbing this. Uh, we don't give a shit at all about Sister Maggie. No offense, man. And, um... I mean... I guess you take Poison Tears, but I'm not stoked about it. It was actually, like, a pretty disappointing haul. Now, the good news is, we gave up nothing to get it. And that's... I'm very, very happy with the way that things have worked out for that reason. Like, we, we put a rush on. We might have taken a little bit of extra damage, but we're at full HP anyway, so... Who cares? But, um, yeah, we, we didn't really get much for all of our troubles there, but we didn't really spend anything, so... The finger is also an item that showed up in one of those, uh... In, in that thread, that specific thread. Uh, and somebody said, all it takes is one tier effect to make it awesome. I guess the idea is that being able to impart a tier effect from a distance um, that might be outside of your normal range is pretty good. I don't disagree with that. The, the problem is our tier effect right now is poison, which is like probably the most overrated tier effect in the game. Maybe. I don't know. It's not particularly strong. It was either that though or um, Mega Bombs. And I mean, I like Mega Bombs, but I know myself and I know I'm probably not going to use our bombs that frequently. Really, all we need to guarantee this run is, uh, like, Dark Bomb. We're probably already set, but because we have Gimpy, Dark Bomb just, just wins it for us. Uh, also, of course, Unicorn Stump. Anything along these lines just gives us an easy super victory. Probably, the, like, the most needless two of diamonds of all time. Not that I'm complaining. You know what? It'll all be worth it if we don't fight greed. Hair so long that it looked like greed. Now she cut it all off. Now she looks like Geed. Good day to you, partner. I'm the only friend that you'll need in this godforsaken village reminiscent of Thebes. It doesn't really... See, that's like people will go like rap god, but it's, it, it rhymes a little, but it doesn't really make sense. So, you know, there's two parts to making a, a rhyme good. One is making it rhyme good, the other is making it sensible. Otherwise, you could just be like, Hey, hey, I'm eating spaghetti. My favorite part of celebrating is confetti. And then you're like, well, that's very... That's very clever, I'm sure. We are taking damage. Uh, just waiting on this shop, though. Yeah, I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. Without the Razor, we're still fine here. Yera. We don't need two of diamonds. Let's roll a Yera Hermit. At least we can use Hermit to teleport, like, out of a curse room or something like that. Oh, Tinted Rock. Small Rock. Small Rock. So what am I trying to... What am I trying to do? I'm basically trying to create a situation in which our... Uh... Yeah, sure, why not? I'm trying to create a situation in which our uh, one half of our marked tiers will be better than using Little Brimstone. And we might already be close to that, but I don't think we're quite there. 
And also, like, it's still not that good. 7.6 damage with a base rate of fire. Like, we've really only improved our damage, like, one point something over where we were earlier. That was a good donation. Actually, like, it's tough, dude. I think we will take the sun card. And what's my my reasoning for that is actually a little backwards. You'll probably disagree with it, is my guess. But um, permanent Polaroid invincibility is val is valuable. It's it's valuable, of course, as we all know. Um, but I really want mapping so I can speed through the next floor, not to rush, but to have a chance to do the hush fight. And apparently, we're gonna heal anyway. So um, thanks to Placenta. So there's no getting around that. I mean, Alge's is also great with Midas Touch, but I want to be able to uh, get to the... We should have taken Bloody Penny. I want to be able to get to the Hush Fight, or at least have the option of getting to the Hush Fight. Because we're going to be equipped from a money standpoint. Honestly, like, with 37 bombs, a lot of these rooms are going to have to impress me pretty hard to make me want to do them. I'm really just gunning for uh, easy to kill rooms and rooms that could give us items. I, I recognize this run, it looks bad from an optics standpoint. Ooh, NL didn't do a room with the enemies he hates the most in the entire game on a run that's a little underpowered due to his own idiocy, admittedly. Um, he must hate Isaac. Not, not hating Isaac. Second video I'm recording today is Isaac. I love it. Yeah, because... You want to knock out the stuff you hate so that you can get back to this. No, it's not. You're you're looking for hatred in all the wrong places. I don't want the Eternal Hearts. I love Isaac. However, I don't want to fight tedious fights when we could be like mainlining our way towards uh, getting to actual items. So this is like a big deal here. Um... And the reason is, we want a deal with the devil in order to give us, like, a chance at expediting our damage. At this point, I've kind of accepted that Little Brim is, like, our get-out-of-jail-free card. Like, that's that's our best chance for dealing a bunch of uh, damage. Like, Jesus Juice is just okay. And Lump of Coal would be fine, but this might be the Little Brim show. So, because I'm uh, a man-child who can't take permanent uh, personal responsibility, permanent personal responsibility, too much Isaac. See? I love it. Um, I have to say, this run is all down to that dude in that Reddit thread. Uh, but, NL, don't you exhibit autonomy? No, that's a common misconception. I'm actually married. <laughs> but still, um, you know, jokes from the 1930s aside, uh, no, I don't, I don't blame him. I like to experience these dubious quality items for myself. And I'm trying to, like, this is the first time in a while we've had the chance to get, like, sustained visibility of how much damage we're doing to an enemy, and I, I still think Little Brim is doing it. I don't think that, like, especially Little Brim with Finger has got to add up to more than one side of Marked. We got very lucky with our deals with the devil, honestly, and we will take Dark Matter. It's a .86 damage up, but I can't, as much as I hate to say it, I can't do it. I can't, it's like a fast run, but it's a fast run in which I'm not particularly impressed. Like, each one of our tiers does something like 70, oh, it does a hundred and something damage. Plus extra damage from Demon Baby, but that'll, that damage will work if we're up close with Little Brim as well. Little Brim does 35 damage per shot, but the ticks are way faster. It's a tough call. One thing's for certain. Oh, well, that was really good. One thing's for certain though, we're not dealing enough damage from either source. So, we, we're doing enough to win. That, it, oh, you thought this was about winning? No, 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 you don't understand. This is the 3,000th run I'm having in Isaac. It has to be more than a win to get me excited, you know, to get me to stop complaining like a little bitch. So, what we need here is something... Ooh, that's good. Locust to death. 
What we need is something a little greater than that to really allow me to be excited about where we are here. By the way, we have the cancer items, so once we pay that initial buy-in cost, we'd have to be stupid to not play the Demon Judgment to fruition, especially with Gimpy possibly working out well for us here. Good, it's another syringe. Gives us spun, and Synth Oil by itself gives us a damage up as well, so it's good stuff. We've got to be getting close to the point where this is a sensible idea to use our actual tiers. 120 something damage per shot. Seems like only a modest improvement, but it's okay. Uh, so really, like, all of our eggs are in the basket of, well, again, we're probably going to win either way, but most of our eggs are in this uh, basket of make sure that you use Yera on the next floor. Also, right, Midas Touch. That's a, that's a high quality item. Didn't get me started on those fucking enemies. Again, we're still effectively like one item away from an easy win. Anything with invincibility. I, dude, fuck these ghosts, dude. Least favorite ghosts of all time right here. Oh, okay, that one was my bad, but um, I'm telling you, as, as far as annoying ghosts from fiction go, these Isaac ghosts are getting up there. I don't know what changed. Maybe my brain got smoother, which as I understand it is not good. Um, I used to be able to dodge those guys now. I move in a direction and they're like, oh, hey, didn't see you there. Actually, I was cyber stalking you um, now. Like, you know, how's it going? By the way, I hit you. Is that cool? Uh, I mean, sure. I don't want to appear to be a dick or anything. So why not? Um, more spirit hearts, please. Okay. Well, can't really complain about that. Two spirit hearts out of four fires. This is a great track record. He pushed me in. I tried to get away. He pushed me in. Bang, bang. He pushed me in. Bang, bang. My buddy pushed me in. Please. I mean, it's weird because I'm like, I feel like this run is slow, but it's not slow. What this is, is, you know, some runs are like having a sports car and no GPS. You're like, I want to go to the grocery store. I guess I'll just drive around until I've hit everything that's not a grocery store and then go in the last available direction. This run is like having the world's best GPS, but we're on like a fucking velocipede. That's right. It's not a dinosaur. It's the bicycle from like the 18th century or the 19th century with the one big front wheel. You know, we know exactly where we're going, but it takes us a while to get there. Great mental image as well. Why would that thing have a GPS on it? I mean, it's like very anachronistic. I don't like having balanced damage sources. I want my tears to kill you faster. The luck ups are amazing, by the way. Gimpy, in a sort of low key sort of way, might end up being what wins us this run. And at the end of it, we're going to be like, oh, thank you, little Brimo. Thank you, Blue Candle. But really, Gimpy's given us like six spirit arts or something like that. We should really be thanking Gimpy right now. Okay, this is... Excuse me? He must have been poisoned, so he can't be, uh... Wow. So he can't be frozen. We did a ton of damage there with Midas Touch, though. Thank you, Blue Candle. That was great work. Does Little Brim scale with your damage and I've been doing this wrong the whole time? I don't think so. That's the kind of thing that Spider Mod can illuminate for you, at least. Or, you know, going to the wiki. Yeah, 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 we're not gonna do that. Maybe at the end of the chest. Maybe at the end of the chest, but not right now. All right, let's do this. Yara Rune, work with me. Decent. Not very good, not very good. Pretty good if we can get a bunch of money, which we should be able to do. Quad shot scares the shit out of me, but I want to see how it works with this. Okay. So, of course, quad shot allows us to shoot three shots out of each side of our body. You know, it's very simple arithmetic there. We get the body, the relic. We don't really want the body, but it could come in handy if we die once. Bumbo and Papa Fly. So, what's the game plan here? Uh, we don't need spun, but the virus would be nice, although that's already 
gone by the wayside here. So you run into enemies, let Bumbo take all of the money that gets created as a result. You want Bumbo to level up as soon as... Okay, we might be able to use that. You want Bumbo to level up as soon as possible. I'm not deliberately taking damage here, by the way. It's just sort of happening. We've already got max level Bumbo, so that's great. Um, then the other thing is just live long enough to make it to the boss fight. Like, our damage is actually pretty okay. And I gotta admit, Quad Shot Wiz might actually have it going on. Even though I gotta tilt my brain 45 degrees to the left to make this make sense. There is some sensibility here that I appreciate. Now that we have um, Quad Shot, we basically have a pretty high uh, rate of fire triple shot. I know that sounds confusing. Trust me, no one's more confused about me than this situation. But uh, I do respect and appreciate what Bumbo's doing for me. I like the, the quad shot, even though it's a weirdly lying to me triple shot. And I think that this chest has been at least decent. Doesn't Shard of Glass give us the weird tears that follow us around? I'm thinking of a different item from anti-birth, I think. Dang. You always like to... If you got any sort of mapping, you like to take the gamble that the second secret room is close to the boss fight. This time it appears they're, like, completely unrelated. But it does also appear we're gonna win, so... By the way, what was the... Why not use the D1 for something? Well, you, you know, we could create an extra spirit heart now and then. Every four rooms... We get a Relic play, and then we get a D1 play, you know? It's it's a match made in heaven. I don't think we're going to need it, though, so... I'm going to stay away from it for now. I don't know. In the end, this run probably makes me look like a little bit of a whiner. I tr I, anytime I'm mad in an Isaac run, I'm not actually mad. If I'm genuinely mad, I just don't record a video. Like, nine golden bombs. Mostly, I play, it, I play up the indignation for kind of, like, humor's sake, so... Never never think like, ooh, NL's like, especially like at that dev team or something, NL's actually mad at the dev team. If I bring up things in a snarky way, it's just because I assume that we have some rapport that allows me the leeway to do that when that's very much an assumption that probably is not based in reality, but you know. I tend to be a happy person. Should have opened that item. God damn it, dev team, you should have put an alert there or something. Lazy is what it is. It's just lazy. Anyway, um, sorry about that. I apologize on their behalf. What did we get? Uh, I mean, it would have been better, but in the end, I'm just glad that we made it work for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.